Hello, my name is Karina Diaz Ortega, and this is my final presentation on disruptive technologies. And my presentation is on Amazon. So the history of Amazon is uh, it started in humble beginnings. Uh, Jeff Bezos was the person who founded Amazon um, in Bellevue, Washington, in July of 1994. He actually started it out of his garage and just a handful of employees and just a couple thousand dollars that he invested out of his own pocket. It was initially in an online bookstore. Uh, like I said, it, it was out of his garage and um, they started out with uh, being a small competitor amongst Barnes and Nobles and other um, bigger bookstores. So they would just um, deliver books um, and they would do online books just to people in their local community as well. Um, this ended up expanding much more beyond books. It ended up expanding to music, clothing, shoes, houseware, um, just household products. And now you can buy just about anything. There's certain restrictions as far as what they can sell, but um, now you can find almost anything on Amazon. Um, you can have it delivered to your doorstep and um, it's pretty much taken on the delivery service. Uh, it's taken it by storm. It's um, completely wiped out its competitors. Um, not completely because obviously we still have uh, UPS, FedEx, USPS, but Amazon is definitely uh, one of the top dogs of delivery and online shopping. Um, it's definitely expanded to other industries. So we also have, you know, the uh, online books like the the Kindle, the Kindle Fire. Um, I think they even came out with their own cell phone. Um, they uh, do deliveries of almost anything, like I mentioned before. And um, they also do um, storage. So they'll save your music, photos, documents on storage online. So they've just dipped and dabbled into so many industries beyond just books. And actually, before I go into the next slide, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of um, how to use Amazon. So as you can see here, um, you can just go into Amazon's homepage. Um, you can go into a lot of different categories. So you can go into Audibles, Books and Originals, Deals, Alexa, Amazon Devices, Appliances, apps and games, crafts. So pretty much whatever category that you're looking for, you can click here and it'll give you tons and tons and of a different ideas of what you could buy. So if you want to buy a gift for somebody, if you're looking for something for yourself, whatever it is, you go here and you can pretty much find anything. So uh, for example, if I want to find something garden and outdoor, I would click that and then I could put like uh, lawn chairs, for example, and it's going to give me so many different results. As you can see over here, it's giving me about 7,000 results for patios, lawn, and garden for lawn chairs. So it gives you, I like Amazon because it gives you a wide variety of different options that you can pick from. Um, you don't just have like one, two, or three options. You can do something as expensive as like $149 for a really nice high-end lawn chair to something more affordable and basic. That's $38.23. Um, you can pick whatever color you want. If you go on the left-hand side, you can pick uh, the color that you want, if you want specific details, if you want to categorize it by pricing, um, by the brand, and then reviews. Reviews is another big thing when it comes to Amazon, um, which is why I think people like it so much because um, reviews are big. Definitely people will pick and choose their products depending on the reviews. So if you want something that has bigger or higher reviews like uh, five stars, four stars, you can click up here and um, you can eliminate the ones that are bad quality uh, according to the reviews from people who have used it. 
So, uh, for example, Editor's Choice, Best Overall. Um, so I really like this that you actually get a review from people who have used this product so they can recommend it. Even though you don't know the people, um, you could tell whether their reviews are reliable, whether they're credible, and that just makes the whole shopping experience a little bit easier to be able to pick something that you know you're going to like. They also have a... Um, a really good customer service where you can return things if you don't like it. Um, they will help you out with free shipping. And that's just some of the great things on here with Amazon. I'm going to go back to the home here. And another great thing with Amazon is that it will remember your choices. So if there's something that you really like, that you're really into, they will mark it to you. Um, so if you've been researching a lot of um, uh, bedding, for example, like different sheets or bedding, they will advertise to you. Um, doesn't matter what website you're using, they'll advertise to you and they'll kind of find you versus you finding the product. Okay, I'm going to go back here to the presentation. So next, I'm going to talk about uh, talk about the growth of the company. Like I said, Jeff started out with his company with ten thousand dollars out of his pocket. It was just him, his wife, and a couple different employees. And um, Amazon is now worth. Uh, I believe it's a little bit more now, but it is now worth approximately $160.47 billion. Um, it started off with 11 employees, and now it has over 600,000 employees worldwide. So that is a humongous increase in employees. Um, they are now able to have a minimum wage of $15 an hour for employees. And the reason that I... Um, notated this in detail is because um, this just goes to show how Amazon has changed the job industry as well. So they've provided a lot of jobs for people, not just Americans, but people all over the world, delivery drivers, customer service representatives, people working in the warehouse, um, directors, HR. There's so many different jobs that have been created as a result of um, the growth of Amazon. How does this impact our daily lives? So I don't personally use Amazon every single day of my life, but I do use it, I would say, multiple times a week. So um, there is Amazon Prime. There's the convenience of having Amazon Prime subscription, which is a yearly subscription that you would pay with Amazon and you would get a lot of perks to go along with that, such as free delivery, um, same day deliveries, next day deliveries, you get discounts on products, deals, um, you also get a certain amount of storage space for your information like pictures, videos, documents. And um, if you pay that yearly subscription, then you have um, access to all of those things. Um, so this uh, encourages customers to use Amazon more on their daily lives. Um, like I said, they now have same day, next day deliveries, and in some places even they have the availability of getting uh, products within a couple hours from when you uh, ordered your product. Um, they now have expanded to seven days a week, so they do deliveries every day of the week from Monday to Sunday uh, versus like USPS that only does it Monday through Saturday. Uh, they also have audiobooks with Audible. They purchased the Audible company and have merged together. So it uh, people are able to hear their books instead of read their books. Um, so it's changed the way that people digest and receive their information. It's no longer the old fashioned way of just, you know, um, paper and pen and uh, books. It's now people are able to digest, read, get their information a lot quicker and uh, um, in different methods as well. 
um, Amazon Echo, as you can see here, it's that gray little speaker um, that's on the picture. And it is voice activated with Alexa. So Alexa works as a personal assistant. And um, you can talk to this device. It will respond to you. You can order things through it. Um, you can get recipes, play music, um, get news, daily information. So it's practically with you in your home. It, it's a part of your life. So um, it's your personal assistant. It's like a companion. So it's definitely something that you are able to use on a daily basis. Um, Amazon is that also something that is very affordable um, and that has been made available to many people, not just the rich at the top. It's for everybody. Which brings me to the disruptive technology part of it. Amazon has made online shopping the norm. So Amazon has totally taken the online shopping by storm. Um, it's forced a lot of other markets to also adapt to the online system um, because it's so prominent in our, in our um, daily lives today. They have fast deliveries, which makes other companies have to step up their game as well with delivering. Um, Target, Walmart, a lot of other companies have also used Amazon's um, kind of like the middlemen to delivery. So um, there's other distribut distributors out there that work with Amazon um, to, to uh, broadcast to more of a wide audience. It's accessible and it's reliable for everybody, which means it's at the palm of your hands. You can have it on your phone. You can have it on your tablet, your desktop computer, um, through your home um, um, Alexa service. So anywhere you go, you can pretty much rely that Amazon is accessible and made readily available for you. It's a household name that everybody knows of now. It's not something that is uh, exclusive to certain people. It's uh, a common thing in the whole world. Uh, so what will come next with Amazon? Um, it's hard to predict what will happen within the, the next five to 10 years because so many changes have happened with Amazon each and every year. Uh, what we can expect is that there's gonna be more uh, robotics um, used in their warehouses to replace humans. Um, as we know, robots can be cheaper in the long run uh, versus paying a human to do the packaging and, and the delivery. So they, we can't expect that more robotics are gonna be used in um, the warehouses for Amazon. Um, also, there are talks that Amazon will be um, dipping into the pharmacy industry, into pharmaceuticals to deliver um, the medicines to people uh, directly at a faster pace. Also, uh, once marijuana is legalized federally, there are talks that Amazon can or will uh, be um diving into the CBD world or the mar uh, marijuana industry. I don't know if they're going to do specifically deliveries or um, on online ordering with them, but I do know that they want to invest in the marijuana industry. Self-driven vehicles are also very prominent with Lyft and Uber. So I, I do hear that Amazon will be rolling out self-driven vehicles in order to be more efficient and as effective as possible. And that is my presentation. Thank you very much and you guys have a great night.